Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Monday afternoon, and here are today's notices. And first of all, um, it would be wrong to begin today's notices without mentioning events in Russia on Saturday afternoon. Huge victory for England. Weren't they amazing? Never looked in any doubt at all. So from here on in, I'm going to continue predicting doomsday England losses with the view that that might just be the thing that's keeping them winning. So we'll take that all the way through. Um, Big semi-final game on Wednesday evening against Croatia. I will make a prediction on Wednesday lunchtime for how we're going to lose that game and hopefully that will keep us with some momentum. Uh, now, co-curricular this afternoon. There's obviously like half the school out at District Athletics and it's been a slightly odd disruptive day. Um, <clears throat> this afternoon, Year 10s, I think lots of Year 10s are taking place in an... Uh, and a life drawing class in the quad. So if you signed up for life drawing, just go to the quad at 2.15. Everybody else in year seven to 10, come down to the sports hall. Not because we're gonna make you stay in the sports hall, but we're gonna collapse things, do a few different bits and pieces, and I want everybody in the sports hall so we can work out what you're going to do this afternoon. So everybody apart from the year 10s who signed up for life drawing, head on down to the sports hall during co-curricular this afternoon. Staff, if you're supposed to be doing something in co-curricular at 2.15, please come and join us in the sports hall so that you can help out with one of the things that we're doing for the children. Um, next, students, please fill in the Google form that Mr. Hubbard has sent you via email, which will ask you what co-curricular co activities you would like to see next year. If you don't tell us, then we won't know, so please fill out that form. Mr. Hubbard has sent it to your email. Um, and tomorrow afternoon, there is a workshop during co-curricular for students interested in acting for the camera. So if you're a budding TV or movie star, this is for you. It's a workshop with an outside company, therefore numbers are limited to 20. Uh, the sign-up sheet is on the Art Magnetic Notice Board. So if you're interested in an externally facilitated acting for the camera course tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock, please sign up on the Magnet Magnetic Notice Board outside Art. Arts Week in full swing. Uh, we've had Year 7 painting pots this morning. I think we've got Year 9 making bird boxes this afternoon. Um, thank you to Ms. Loudon for all your organisation. Tomorrow afternoon there is loads going on. Tomorrow's a really busy day anyway. We've got all of our new staff coming in. Uh, we've got quite a few staff who aren't here. Um, <clears throat> we've got Arts Week activities all throughout the morning. And then in the afternoon, we've got the Morgan car painting in the quad. That's where we put the classic car in the middle of the quad and people come and draw it. And then at four o'clock, we've also got uh, some year 10 students leading a rock concert. Now, I'm gonna give you full details on how this is all gonna work tomorrow. Um, but be aware that from four o'clock tomorrow, there's loads going on in the quad and it'd be great to have lots of students there um, supporting and taking part. We will give you details in the notices tomorrow of exactly how, and when you can take part in. Obviously, if you're signed up to Arts Week activities, those are all going ahead. Um, so please make sure you're in the right place at the right time. Final thing from me is that many of you may have noticed that these wooden sleepers out here that surround the lawns on the quad are struggling in the hot weather. Um, they've got very dry and some of them feel a little bit wobbly. Now what I don't want to do is say that nobody can sit on the grass because I love it when people are sat on the grass in the quad. Um, but what I am saying is do not walk on those sleepers. Please try and tread over them rather than treading on them. And please be very, very careful with them. They may give you splinters. You need to be careful. We are going to have a look at getting them treated, at kind of shoring them up. Uh, but it is as a result of the hot weather. They're just feeling a little bit wobbly and fragile. So please be really careful with them. Please do not walk on them. Try and step over them if you're going to sit on the grass. And in between lessons, please do not just walk along them because that's really exacerbating the damage. Um, that is it from me today. Have a lovely afternoon. I'll see you all same time tomorrow. Take care. Bye.